And it's time to go ahead with our second segment. So are you planning to go on a vacation but are worried about the taxes that you will have to shell out? At the ET Money Show today, we have got your back as always because we're going to be breaking down the LTA or Leave Travel Allowance, a simple yet significant part of your salary. And whether you believe it or not, LTA can, say, can help you save the hard-earned money that you pay as tax. But how, you ask. To, so to help you do that, we are being joined by Mr. Sudhakar Setu Raman, who is the partner at Deloitte India. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today on ET Now. My first question, let me start with the basics. To help us viewers understand what exactly is LTA and how it is taxed in India? Right. So LTA is a, uh, is a part of a salary package uh, which is offered by an employer to his or her employees. Um, uh, it is given for undertaking travel within India, um, a leave accompanied travel for people. Uh, uh, the individual is or her dependent family members uh, can be a part of this journey. So there are prescribed rules for claiming this benefit. Um, uh, when, when, when somebody is going to claim LTA and they have actually undertaken travel, then to that extent of expenditure they have incurred subject to the specified rules, the individual can claim it as tax exempt. So on that front, it is a good tax saving avenue which is available for salaried people. Okay, but Mr. Sudhakar, uh, help us understand how exactly can it be claimed and is this an option available that every employer offers or rather every employee can go and claim that? Is that the case? Right. See, first thing is it should be a part of the salary package. So if a particular employer chooses not to provide leave travel elements to its employees, then the individual may not be able to create something on his own and then claim the benefit. So first and basic requirement is it should be a part of the salary package. And uh, uh, number two is once if it is a part of the salary package, the employee can, um, after undertaking the trip within India, uh, he or she has to submit the requisite bills in support of the travel and then claim it as an exemption. So when the employer is doing the monthly payroll withholding, they would consider this portion as tax-free and accordingly, there will be a lesser tax impact for the employees. Okay, so that's a tax saving um, area where sh you should focus on. But just wanted to understand what are the current exemptions related to LTAs and also along with that, what are the limitations or restrictions under the LTA? Right. See, unlike other provisions in the Income Tax Act, which talks about a financial ceiling, in so far as LTA is concerned, there are no financial ceiling. So the provisions of the Act are not saying that LTA up to 100,000 or 50,000 is exempt from tax. It provides for conditions subject to fulfillment of the same, the individual can claim exemption. So one such condition is the travel should be within India. You cannot undertake an LTA trip to a foreign jurisdiction and then call for exemption. The second thing is, uh, and the most important thing is, um, it should be uh, uh, the, the modus operandi of travel is also well defined, right? Where, uh, you know, places are not um, connected, where the journey is undertaken by, you know, let's say uh, by, by flight, then the individual can claim um, the national airfares, economy airfare as a basis for claiming the exemption. So there is no ceiling which is given, unlike uh, other provisions in the Income Tax Act. So it is based on the expenditure which the employee is going to incur. Uh, it should be supported by bills. I want to clarify one point. A couple of years back, government introduced uh, a, a new tax regime. Under the new tax regime, individuals can be, uh, you know, can pay tax uh, at a lesser rate. Um, one of the conditions for availing the new tax regime is that the individual cannot claim exemption. So LTA is no exception to this rule. If somebody is going to want, is going to get covered under the new tax regime, then that individual will not be able to claim a tax exemption on account of LTA. So only those people who are paying tax under the old regime will be able to claim the LTA exemption. 
Understood. But you did touch upon that only uh, the travel that you do in India is something that you can claim. And you did touch upon how the international travel is associated. But just wanted to understand, is there any limitation on the cost front? And when it comes to attaching the bills as well, so like all the bills are to be attached or there is some criteria which you shouldn't you sh should be focusing on? Right. See, there are, um, uh, you know, the first criteria which the employer should do is that they should be fixing the LTA, taking reasonableness into account, right? Uh, today, if you travel, let's say, from uh, Trivandrum to Leh for a family of four to five people, right, the LTA cost is not going to exceed, uh, you know, maybe a lakh or lakh and fifty thousand. So there has to be some amount of reasonableness which should be considered, factored by the employer while fixing the ceiling for LTA. It doesn't make sense to give an LTA of 10 lakhs, right, for somebody to travel, undertake an airfare, uh, air travel uh, uh, within India when the family size is going to be, let's say, four or five people. Because what is allowed under the airfare is only the economy class fare in India and not the business or the first class fare which is allowed. So as a result, the employer should do their part in terms of fixing the ceiling from an LTA standpoint. And the employees should provide bills for the journey they have undertaken. So our ticket is something which they may have to produce. Normally, uh, you know, in an LTA type of uh, situation, right, any entertainment expenses, any boarding and lodging which they incur in the other place are not eligible for LTA exemption. What is allowed is only the travel charges which can be claimed as an exemption. Let's say somebody travels uh, from Chennai to Delhi and from Delhi, to, a, to, to another 100 kilometers by road, perhaps the flight ticket and the road travel charges, bills for supporting it can be the basis for claiming the LTA exam. Okay, but just trying to re, uh, just trying to clarify this point, what happens if the employer loses the um, bills or rather the receipts? Um, is that the case that where the employer actually makes an exemption? Right, see, um, employer don't have the powers to make hmm. exemption. And um, LTA is something, um, uh, you know, which can be availed twice in a block of four years. So this exemption itself is not an annual annual event. So during a four-year block period given by the tax legis tax regulators, the exemption can be availed only twice. So there is no option or employers have to, you know, maintain the bills. If the employee has lost the bills, right, then it becomes a challenge when it claimed, when it comes to LTA exemption is concerned because this is a reimbursement based exemption and um, uh, you know it will become too cumbersome to prove that somebody has undertaken a travel and incurred so much amount of expenditure when the bills have been lost. So uh, corroborating it with evidence is going to be crucial for claiming the expenditure. If suppose the individual has lost the bills but if he is able to demonstrate otherwise his travel to that uh, uh, you know jurisdiction supported by any other means of documentation if he has lost the uh, let's say the ticket but if he is able to produce a boarding pass to support it and a credit card or uh, bank statement charges reflecting the cost which is incurred towards the app charges then uh, you know it can be something which can be considered but again this could be more uh, uh, not a preferred approach the preferred approach is to produce the direct bills uh, these things can only be round about because if the employer is going to allow this uh, uh, you know mechanism to set in then their administration process will become too cumbersome so trying to differentiate between what is the right claim and what is the wrong claim uh, will be too challenging for the employers to do understood but they at least have an option is something i wanted to know from you uh, but how an individual can actually claim the exemptions while filing the itr what's the process looking like uh, if you can just tell us on that Right. There is a specific disclosure requirement in the tax return where the individual is claiming LTA in the ITR. Um, this is a situation where uh, the individual is not able to produce the bills to the employer within the prescribed time frame. Let's say there is a payroll cutoff of February, but the individual travels on 30th March or 31st of March. He or she is not able to produce the bills and the employer has gone ahead and withheld the taxes. Then the individual can make a claim in the tax return. If the authorities are going to call for details uh, to support the LTA exemption, because this will not reflect in the form 16 of the employee, it will only say that he has been paid a LTA allowance. It will not talk about exemption. So when an exemption is claimed in the tax return by choosing the designated uh, sales in the tax return for making the claim, when there is going to be a question from the tax authorities, the individual should be able to produce 
documents to support the cost that he has incurred so that it corroborate with the ex exemption that he or she has claimed. Okay, that was very helpful. Thank you so much for joining us today on ET Now and helping with your take and helping our viewers understand what exactly is LTA and how you can actually go about it, claiming what are the things to keep in mind. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you.